for the Europe of Freedom and Direct Democracy Group, Ms Parker. Your stats say between 2010 and 2012, over 30,000 people were victims of trafficking. According to Europol, over 10,000 migrant children are missing in Europe. The UK's National Crime Agency reported that 3,309 people were potential victims of trafficking for exploitation in 2014, an increase of 21%. Why are we seeing this modern-day form of slavery on the rise? Well, the UK government report in 2014 said free movement within the EU is extensively exploited by organised criminals to bring human trafficking victims to the United Kingdom. And in 2013, Europol even admitted that the free movement of people reduces the chance of detection of such crimes. So even the EU's agencies and cheerleaders say that free movement is the big problem. The EU has created the perfect environment for trafficking to flourish. I'm sure businesses for criminals couldn't be better with the open door European leaders gave in response to the migrant crisis once in Europe and the free movement of people. By encouraging millions of people to come to Europe, you're playing into the hands of the traffickers, both within and outside Europe. Whether it is individuals paying criminals to get them into Europe, or families sending off their children for the hope of a better life, the EU has put hundreds of thousands at risk of exploitation, endangered lives by encouraging an exodus across the dangerous Mediterranean Sea. But not satisfied with that, you want Turkey to join the EU and liberalise visas. Opening the door to a country like Turkey, giving 70 million people access to the UK and Europe, will without doubt increase trafficking. There is a simple way to deal a blow to traffickers. It is to end the free movement of people, close down the Schengen area and to stop open door immigration. It is for member states to take back sensible control of their national borders and to conduct criminal background checks. If you want to deal a blow to trafficking, if you want to protect innocent victims, if you want to save lives and to gain a sensible ethical control of the United Kingdom borders, then the only way, I'm afraid, is to vote to leave the European Union on the 23rd of July. Uh, June, I beg your pardon. <laughs>